Welcome back as we move on to describe electrical checks. The first check that we shall perform is to test for continuity between the windings. Ensure that the multimeter is set up for low resistance measurements as previously discussed. Connect one of the test leads onto the first slip ring. Then probe the remaining two slip rings recording the ohmic resistance after each measurement is observed. All resistance readings must read within 5% indicating that the windings are balanced. Next we will test the insulation resistance from each winding and the brush gear to earth. To begin Connect one test lead to the rotor shaft and the other to each slip ring in turn, each time testing the insulation resistance. All the insulation resistance measurements recorded must be greater than 0 0,5 meg ohms to be acceptable. When the motor has been assembled and the brush is lifted away from the slip rings, test the insulation resistance between each brush holder and the frame. Once again, the readings obtained must be greater than 0 0,5 meg ohms. Now we move on to the mechanical checks. First check the surface of the slip rings for excessive, uneven wear. The surfaces should also be free from grease, oil or grit. Moving to the brush gear, Check the pigtails for loose or damaged connections. Check the length of each brush for excessive wear. They should not be worn beyond the specified limits. Ensure that the brush holder is clean and that the brush is able to move freely within the brush holder. Check the spring pressure of the brush holders. A weak spring will cause brush bounce resulting in a poor electrical contact with a slip ring. Examine the tip of each brush. A properly shaped tip will ensure maximum contact with the slip ring. Check the alignment of each brush with its respective slip ring. Correct brush position will ensure that the brush runs in the center of the slip ring. This completes the mechanical tests. Let us now recap by mentioning two important points concerning three-phase induction motors. A three-phase cage induction motor is simply constructed, efficient and cost-effective with fixed speed and torque characteristics. The slip ring motor with its wound rotor allows the user to control the start current and speed and torque characteristics by connecting preset values of resistance in series with the rotor windings. This concludes Module 2. Join us again in other programs where you can learn more about the basic operating principles of AC and DC machines.